So a few weeks ago we discussed how well God of War was being received by critics and right now on Metacritic based off of 114 reviews every single review was positive giving the game an overall score of 94. There have been some questions about how this will translate into actual game sales and the numbers coming in right now just a month post launch are extremely impressive. First, if you're unaware, just three days after launch, the game had already garnered 3.1 million copies sold, becoming the fastest selling game of all time for the PlayStation 4, beating games like Uncharted 4, Horizon Zero Dawn, and Bloodborne. But now even more numbers are coming in, and God of War has just had the most successful launch month for a PlayStation exclusive ever. The game was the best selling title of April 2018, and is already the third best selling game of the year, only trailing Monster Hunter. World and Far Cry 5. Additionally, it's been reported that God of War impacted hardware sales last month, with Sony selling 326,000 PlayStation 4s, more than double of its nearest competitor. That number is also the best April hardware sales numbers return in terms of units in nearly a decade. But the success story that is God of War continues as PlayStation 4 software dollar sales in April 2018 set an all time April high for any platform since tracking began in 1995. You know, people tell me we didn't need God of War to prove Electronic Arts wrong about linear single-player games. Maybe that's true. With all the success, it's just nice to have more proof of just how wrong Electronic Arts is, and that the excuses they make for only supporting the money-making live-service multiplayer games needs to stop because it's not true at all. Let's not forget the reason why a linear Uncharted-like Star Wars game from Visceral Games is not coming anymore, and it's because of this reason given by Electronic Arts CFO Blake Jorgensen late last year. As we kept reviewing the game, it continued to look like a much more linear game, which people don't like as much today as they did five years ago or ten years ago. And additionally saying canceling Visceral's project was an economic decision at the end of the day, and that you gotta cut the bridge when you realize you can't make a lot of money on something. I have to say, when I look at those God of War numbers, I certainly think a high quality Star Wars linear single player game could put up numbers maybe even much higher. Often the excuse they make is that the costs to make these games are too much. Recently Eidos Montreal revealed Shadow of the Tomb Raider would cost $135 million to make, and the studio head said that there was pressure and that they would have to adapt and try new models, which honestly I just don't understand why so much is being spent in the first place. I feel that some studios probably should control their budgets better, and I promise you, most of us can live without realistic footprints. I love it attention to detail, but if costs are that much of an issue, I don't think there will be too many complaints. But my point is, with this example, is that I just find it somewhat worrying how much pressure these studios put on themselves by not properly managing their budgets. And it's not just Eidos Montreal. It seems with Visceral Games' Star Wars game, it had had a troubled development, and EA pulled the plug because with a linear single player game, you can't turn it into a live service game, which is what they ultimately wanted. It's no longer just $60 these publishers want. They want people spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars, which is what you call getting greedy. But the thing is with Electronic Arts, they just don't seem to understand the market for single player games at all. A recent indie single player game they published a way out, coming from this guy. I'm gonna say to you one thing. EA has been very good to me. Yes. And, and, and to be honest with you, they're getting, because it's nice to hate EA, blah, blah, I don't care about that shit. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is this. All publishers fuck up sometimes, you know? Yeah. That's how it is. It sold a million copies in just two weeks after launching, in which Electronic Arts originally thought it would only sell around 900,000 copies a lifetime. They just seem so out of touch not understanding what consumers really want. Anyway, God of War director Corey Barlog has also recently discussed the subject of are single player games dying in which he said, single player games are the phoenix at this point. We go through the ebb and flow. Games change by the different creatives that get involved and say, I have this crazy idea. He would then go on to say that regardless of multiplayer hits like Fortnite, it doesn't necessarily mean that anything else goes away. It simply says, that's the thing we're paying attention to. And I think he's on point with these comments, really putting in perspective this single player versus multiplayer debate. But I will add, God of War's success is further proof that next time Electronic Arts, whoever tries creating a narrative that linear single player games is not what we want, that's bullshit. The only reason why some of these big AAA publishers don't want to support games like God of War is because they want more than just the $60 purchase. 
That's called greed. Anyway, thank you for watching, and let me know your thoughts on God of War's success in the comment section below, but make sure to like the video if you did enjoy or found any informative value, and consider subscribing for more videos like this, and I'll see you later.